Hello and welcome to this answer video. In this answer video, I'll be talking you through the answers for the worksheet representing numbers to 1000. I'll also be talking you through some of the trickier bits in this skill. So question one asks us to match these blocks to numbers. And we have a choice of 160, 238, and 306. So we'll take each one in turn and then we'll see if we can match them up. So let's start with the top one. We have two of our hundred blocks of our base 10. One, two, so we're working in two hundreds. Straight away I can probably say it's going to be this one here because we're working in two hundreds. But we need to check our tens and ones first just to be sure because that might tell us we're working in a different uh, hundreds number in case there's 10 or more of our tens. So we have two hundreds in this one. We have three tens. Three tens are 30, 230, and we have eight ones. So this one matches to 238. The second one, we have 300 squares. Three hundreds is 300. We have zero tens. We don't have any of these long lines, these rods. So there is zero in our tens. So we're looking for one with a zero in the tens. Hundreds, tens, ones. There's a zero in this one. There's a six in our tens in this one. So it's likely to be this one, but let's go all the way through to check. 300, no tens, and six ones. So 306. In this one, we have 100, one, two, three, four, five, six tens, and zero ones. So that must be 160. Question two asks us to complete the number track. So a number track is just a sequence of numbers going up or down. In this case, we're going up 606, 607, and we can see it's actually our ones that's changing each time. The hundreds stays the same. We're working in six hundreds, six, seven. The next one up is one more one, so 608. 606, 607, 608, 609. And then when we get to 10 ones, that means we can exchange those 10 ones for a single 10. So we'd have six, one in our 10, and zero in our ones, 610. For number three, we'll ask true or false. The representation, so the base 10 shown, does that show 580? So let's have a look at our hundreds. One, two, three, four, five. We have five in our hundreds, so that works out. Let's put our headings up, hundreds, tens, and ones to help us. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in our tens, so that works out. And we have zero of the small squares, so zero ones. So 580, eight tens is 80. 580. So that works out. So that one should be true. For number four, we're asked to fill in the missing digits. So we're shown some base 10 like this. So we're showing that base 10 in question four, and it says we've got to fill in the missing digit. So there's a missing digit in our hundreds. We're giving the number two in our tens, and we have a missing digit in our ones as well. So let's first count up our hundreds. One, two, three, four. We have 400. Four hundreds is 400. We have two tens, that's right, we have two of those long rods. And let's see how many ones we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight ones. So our answer to number four is 428. Question five asks how many three digit numbers we can make using these three digit cards, five, nine, and zero. Now the key phrase in that question is three digit numbers. If I started with a zero and then used the other numbers, five and nine, that's only a two digit number because the zero is first. So I can only start with the five or the nine. 
So let's start with the five first. Then I could use my nine and my zero to make 590. I could also make 509 by swapping zero and the nine round. Let's use the nine in the hundred this time. Then I've got my five left and my zero. I could make 950. Again, let's swap the five and the zero around, keeping the nine in the hundreds, keeping that first. So I would have 905. So I can make four different three digit numbers using those three digit cards. For number six, Shabana says she has 408 shown by the base 10. And we're asked if we agree and we need to explain the answer. So we're looking for 408. So let's check that. Let's use a different color pen to help us identify which ones we've looked at. So we start with our hundreds. We have one, two, three, four. We have four hundreds. Again, I'm gonna use my place value headings because it helps me. So we've dealt with the hundreds. Let's look at our tens. Remember the tens are shown by the lines or the rods. So we have one 10 there. And how many ones do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight ones. So Shabana has actually made the number 418, not 408. We have a single 10 in there, which means we have to put the 110 in the middle of our number, not 408. For number seven, we're asked if model A is the same as model B. Now, what we can see here is they both have 106. So these three boxes, think of them as hundreds, tens, and ones, and they have to, it's a part whole model almost, so these parts have to make this number. The same for B, these three parts have to make this number. So for A, I have one in my hundreds, that's shown by the square, nothing in this one, and six ones. So there are no tens in there shown by the line. So 106 is correct there. We have a single hundred, no tens, and we have six ones, which makes 106. Let's have a look at model B. Again, we have the 100, which is there. There's nothing in this one. And then we have our tens here. One, two, three, four, five, six. We know they're tens because they're the rods, they're the long lines. So that's actually a tens. They're showing tens, they're not showing ones. This box is showing tens. So we should have something in our tens, which is our middle digit, and we don't at the moment. So we should have 100, we have six tens, so something in our tens, those six rods, six tens, and there are no ones being shown here. So the number is actually 160. So this model, model B is actually incorrect. The correct model is A. So that was an answer video for representing numbers to a thousand from Classroom Secrets and I hope you found it useful. Remember you can watch the linked video tutorial for this over on kids.classroomsecrets.co.uk or find loads more resources to practice this skill over on classroomsecrets.co.uk.